Hello YouTube, my name is The Legend of DS and welcome to another predictions video this time going back to what I did in last uh, September last year and it is predicting the, the lineup for Nintendo Switch this time I can actually say Nintendo Switch uh, last time it was just the NX back then but still uh, the Nintendo Switch first uh, or 2018 lineup of games well, uh, in September, I did the NX lineup for the first year. So before we get into that, let's get into what I said back then. Uh, I said that at la in launch, we'll be having Zelda, Pikmin 4, Super Smash Bros. Sport, and a party game. Well, from launch, I got two right. We did get Zelda, and we did get a party game. We did not get Pikmin or Super Smash Bros. In April, I said that we'd be getting Beyond Good and Evil 2 and maybe a port. And at this point, neither has released. We just got a teaser trailer that might not be the example of the final game. And it's unsure if it's coming to the Switch or not. So, well, Destructoid, you really uh, crashed and burned my predictions there. In May, I said Mario Kart 9. Well, technically speaking, we did get a Mario Kart in April, not May, but it was the end of April. So who really is counting? I missed it by a couple of days. Uh, still, I said Mario Kart 9, we did get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, still think it should have been 9, but hey, people are liking Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I probably would have uh, would enjoy it too if I had it, and if I had the Switch, I don't, doesn't matter. In June, I said we'd be getting Fire Emblem, we didn't, not only did we not get it, we're getting it next year, so yeah. In July, we just mentioned 3, also not happening. August, I said platinum game, a, pla a game from Platinum Games, which is a really, really weird thing to say. Three times fast, we didn't get it. In September, Retro, we'll be getting a game from Retro, we also don't have it. In October, we'll be getting a new IP or an HD remake, we're not getting it. In November, that we'll be getting Super Mario 3D, we're getting Odyssey, but in October, again, just missing by a couple of days, who's really counting? And a smaller spin-off like Captain Toad to come in December of that same year well it does seem that the only things i did get correct was that we'll be getting a new ip that zelda was going to be at launch with a party game and that super mario a 3d mario would be coming to the switch but then everybody predicted that well maybe not the new ip but the mario thing people definitely predicted uh so yeah i got like four things right that the games that will be coming but not the time period. In October, we're not getting a new IP, we're getting Mario. So let's get on to this video. Let's go, go to January. Let's start with January because that's where the year begins. And uh, yeah, that was awkward. Let's go to it. So as of right now, we have no clue of what's coming in 2018. So I think, and I think most people will agree with me when I say, We'll be getting a Nintendo Direct that will focus on the first half of 2017. When this will be coming out probably will be in October, September. Because after October, October, September, or September, we'll be getting we'll only, the games that will be only the only games that will not be out by then will be Mario, Xenoblade, and Fire Emblem. All of them don't really need an introduction and then the trailer. They could get Nintendo Directs individually. I think Fire Emblem will most likely get one just because they need to announce all of the characters or most of the characters that will be in the game. So in this Nintendo Direct in January or in October or September, we'll be getting probably all the games I'll be saying or I predict we'll be getting all the games that we'll be getting up until July. Maybe the Direct will be in November. Nintendo does have a thing for making November Direct, so let's... Focus on that. And I think it will be up until July because everything from August to December can be and probably will be an E3 announcement with maybe a couple games for 2019. So the first game that will be announced, it obviously will be for January, or not really the first game announced in that direct, but the next the game that will be coming out, I think, in January, is another of those games that people will say it's not happening until it actually happens. At E3, we got the announcement of Metroid Prime 4, which a lot of people were saying, that's not happening. And it did. Not only did that happen, we also got a Metroid, a 2D Metroid coming to the 3DS in two months, basically speaking. Three, technically, but that who's counting? And I think that this game, the game that will be out in January, will be F-Zero. Now, sure... 
if F-Zero is in the works and if F-Zero is coming that early in the year, why A, haven't they said anything, and B, why so early? Well, here's the thing, F-Zero and why, uh, the reason why I will say that it wasn't at E3 is simple. The fact that Nintendo announced Pokemon, the fact that Nintendo announced Metroid Prime 4, it would be overshadowed. Now, sure, you could say, but that's a bi pretty big announcement on its own, and it is. The problem is when you add it to that fantastic Mario trailer and the announcement and the, 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 the reveal, the teaser of Prime and the confirmation of Pokemon, m the game might have lo been lost a little bit in the shuffle. So getting announced obviously with a load of 2018 games, but being the first and obviously the focus, it's far more important. And F-Zero, and let's be completely honest, in the, the fact that Nintendo needed to be make a big announcement, or wanted to make a big announcement, they had to choose Metroid or F-Zero. F-Zero, the last three games did not sell so hot, all of them under 1 million, and the three of them combined barely scrapping that 1 million mark, or barely surpassing it. That's not good. So, if between the two, and Metroid is the better seller, it's a more recognizable thing, it's the most, uh, franchise is the most recognizable IP, and it, in a way, it has more ways for Nintendo to make Amiibos. I mean, sure, you can make an Amiibo out of all the cards in F-Zero, but the fact that you have a Samus Amiibo and a Metroid Amiibo obviously made it more important. F-Zero, in my opinion, will be that game that they reveal first, show at the beginning, uh, launch at the beginning of the year, because it could be, it could and probably will be, a big deal. Who, because, uh, it's the first, it's one of the big games that people have been announced, asking forever. Outside of F-Zero, the only thing Nintendo could announce that would be bigger than F-Zero, after obviously, given the fact that we already have Metroid announced, would be Mother 3. It's the last of the trilogy, let's put it this way, of the trio of games that people absolutely want to see Nintendo make. And starting off Gen the year of 2018 with a game like F-Zero, that's such a thing that fans have been craving and wanting forever, launching it at the end of, of January would be a brilliant move, in my opinion. So now let's move on to February, and um, I think uh, Yoshi will be the, the February game. There really isn't much I could say about this. It's the one of the only three games that we have confirmed for the Nintendo Switch coming out in in 2018. In my opinion, obviously it's going to be a, a game launching in the first half of 2018. Uh, well, duh. But no matter what, I think that there's only two games that this that um, two other games that could launch in February, and they are kind of interchangeable during these predictions with with Yoshi. And one of them is F-Zero, and the other one is Kirby, which I'll be talking later. They could be, all of them are interchangeable, and all of them could fit in January, February, and I'll get to it when I get to it. Uh, for Kirby, I think all of them are interchangeable, all of them are easy to to put to play, so let's put it that way, and all of them can pl be pl put in the place of the other. I think Yoshi being a February title is perfectly fine. It's a game to hold Every, but much like F-Zero, to start the year well, but also keep that momentum, the ball rolling as we get into the bigger games, which will be March and May, in my opinion, until E3, when then every, then it's a, a snowball effect. So now, let's talk about March, and what's the game that's going to be launching in March? Well, in my honest opinion, it's going to be Fire Emblem. 2017 we had the launch of the switch with Zelda and one of the first games actually the first franchise to be practically announced for the Nintendo switch after that reveal uh, that was not coming out in 2017 from Nintendo it was not Metroid it wasn't Pokemon it wasn't uh, it wasn't F-Zero Super Smash Brothers it was Fire Emblem I think Fire Emblem will be their March game the, the one that's like F-Zero and Yoshi, or maybe even Kirby, are the ones that are there as holders, holding the momentum, keep pushing out systems, obviously not major systems, I don't think F-Zero or Yoshi will be those big movers, and then in, in March, you launch what it's now becoming one of Nintendo's most, one of the most probably most prob pro profitable and bigger IPs in Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem Heroes made them bank, 
made them more money than Mario uh, Run. So maybe putting it in March, keeping that ball rolling, and then creating a little bit of a snowball effect because yeah, F Zero will be a big game, will be a big announcement that people will be excited for. Yoshi, a midway game where it's one of those games that's like it's not a system seller, but it's one thing that adds to the collection and adds to the value. Obviously, no, I don't think I'm not saying that people won't buy the console for Yoshi. I'm very doubtful. But when you have Yoshi in the collection, will be in 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 the lineup of possible games that you can buy. It's also nice. And I think F Fire Emblem is one of those games like it launches. People will buy the system for it. It's obviously, I think, one of the one of the, the different uh, variety of games. And also, if you look at it at this point, the Switch will only have one RPG, and that will be uh, it will it will be Xenoblade. And this Fire Emblem will be a strategy RPG. It will be obviously will be different. But oh no, yeah, yeah, Mario and Rabbit. Sorry, I forgot about that. But it will be. Especially if it's well done and well um, advertised, will be the big game for. Well, I almost said the big game for the first half of the year, but it won't because there's another game I think it's going to be coming out for the first half of the year with bigger in it. But yeah, Fire Emblem in that March position to be the big game for the first quarter of the year would be, and I think it is, a really uh, good idea. And now, on to April, it will be the launch of a game that I thought was going to be a Switch launch title. And since it's the fourth month of the, mo the year, it will be good to have the fourth entry in this series. And I think it's Pikmin for the game that will launch, that will launch in April 27, 2018 for the Nintendo Switch. Why? Well, it's easy, it's a game that's been announced, it's a game that's been confirmed, it's moving along. My idea or my train of thought as to why this will be an April game and why we haven't seen it yet is quite simple. Pikmin 4 most likely, most probable, began development as a, not as a Switch title but as a Wii U title. Given that it was, like I said, most likely a Wii U title, this could mean that Nintendo has been putting it in the back burner until it could, be, until it could launch with the Switch or after the Switch. Now, obviously, Nintendo could not just release the game now. Why? Because it also is going to be something else I'm going to say later on when I get to October and November. It, it has to do with the launch of the lineup of the 3DS. Much like Fire Emblem, that I forgot also that, is that Fire Emblem right now Fire Emblem is stated as 2018, we haven't seen it yet, not just because Nintendo doesn't want to show us the game already, it's because they still have the, um, this little game called Hey Pikmin, and there would be a conflict of, in of interests, let's put it that way, in, not really a conflict of interests, but if you ha why would Nintendo avidly or market and show us Pikmin 4 with a Hey Pikmin literally coming out in July. They're gonna wait and then speak about it. Heck, Eddie 3 people asked Miyamoto about it and he said, PR does not allow me to speak about it. And then PR came out and said like, Pikmin 4 is coming along. Obviously, they don't want to market the game just yet because they want to sell Hey Pikmin to the people that own a 3DS. Much like two other games they'll be speaking later on um, in this predictions video. So let's move on to May, shall we? Now in May, we're gonna be getting the first truly, truly massive game for the Nintendo Switch in 2018. The first of I, uh, the first that is a game that many people have been predicting, people have been asking, people have been wondering where it is, we haven't, we didn't see it at, at E3, in my opinion, mostly because this announcement could have technically, like, it wouldn't overshadow the announcement of Prime or the reveal, the reveal of Pokemon, but I think it's a game best left served to show it later on, release it sooner, uh, closer to release, announce it closer to, to launch, so maybe November won't be the best time, but maybe February. It's a game that I think, it, it, it's, it's much like Mario Kart and 
a massive it's going to be a massive game especially in japan and maybe even worldwide as well and that is animal crossing i personally don't know much about the franchise i know it's a major seller especially when it comes to handhelds and given that the switch can pass off as both but given the fact that if you never put the switch on the dock it's a, technically speaking just a handheld but if you never take it out of the dock it's a home console i think it's the perfect uh time may has been known for nintendo to release big games sure 24 2017 we didn't have one neither did we have in 2016 i don't think i don't remember but 2014 mario kart 8 2015 splatoon 2 so maybe and, and animal crossing would fit perfectly into this area it's the first true major big seller from the switch but all of them combine all of them or the other five the other four games combined with animal crossing would make 20 feet the first five months of 20 feet of 2018 very strong for the nintendo switch now let's talk about june and june will most likely be kirby like i said and this was the title i, I was saying Kirby alongside Yoshi and F-Zero are the games that I think are interchangeable in this list about where they launch. F-Zero could be the second game of 20, 2018 after the opening being Kirby or Yoshi. Uh, F-Zero could be here like at, right after Animal Crossing and right before or after E3 to just ride if the, the hype of E3. I don't really think there's much to say. I just think that Nintendo would have not shown Kirby or Yoshi. Uh, at E3, had they, would they not be early or mid-2017 mid titles? So yeah, Kirby, I think it's the the, the, the sixth uh, game and the, the last game of the first half of 2018. 20, yeah, 2018. So, so yeah, that's all there's, is, there is to say about this one, huh? Let's move along, shall we? Next, let's move on to July, which I think it's not going to be announced in that November Nintendo Direct. I think it's most likely going to be announced in an April Direct or even a May Direct. No, I don't see it being announced at E3 because it will be like a month before. And that will be Luigi's Mansion 3, developed by Next Level Games. Now, sure, Next Level Games was working on Metroid Prime Federation Force. However, Federation Force by the time of this game being released will be what three years or two? I, yeah it could be two years but still it, we don't know how long it took to make federation force federation force was in the back burner for a while and i don't see it being a game that took that long to make i don't even know if how we don't even know like 29 2009 was when they be, they be, the development of that game began so it's very likely that Luigi's Mansion 3 was also being worked at the same worked at the same time. I also think that alongside Pikmin and Animal Crossing, maybe Animal Crossing, was a game that started development for the Nintendo Wii U and was moved on to the Nintendo Switch when Nintendo realized that there was no way they could salvage the project. Because not salvage the Switch, the Wii U might as well just turn their guns on uh, at the Switch. Now for August, and I'll say what I said before, and I, th I think I didn't say for August, but I think I said it for a month. Yeah, these games are tri tricked or switched from what they were last year. I think that in August we'll finally see Retro Studios' next game. Why? Because it's been forever. We already know that they are probably close to completion to their game, not though to their next game. Not only because it's been almost supposedly three years since they started on a new project but because they just hired a composer the composer from uh the hitman series and the deus ex i think that was that is what he worked on before um and now he's working at retro i don't think if i if i don't remember hearing what he worked on and thinking now they're not working on dk they might be working on, on metroid prime we now know that Metro Prime is being made by another development studio, a new, a brand new team from Nintendo. So we don't know. I think it's going to be a new IP, um, which will be fun to see. I th I, I'm glad to see Retro's moving, moving over and uh, moving, um, moving on from Metroid and uh, Donkey Kong. You know, it'll be fun to see. I think it's going to be a game that will be probably be announced at E3, much like Mario and Rabbits was. But yeah, I think it's uh, the August style because it'll be 
40 years supposedly since they began developing their next project and even if it wasn't it's almost it's like three to four months removed from being five years since their their the donkey kong tropical freeze was supposed to launch so at this point in time five years ago there was there were or in august they were almost done or oh, four years now yeah. they were almost done with donkey kong tropical freeze and tropical freeze was most likely delayed just so nintendo could have a buffer between 3d world and mario kart 8 which they had nothing from november 2013 to may 2014 so their game next their next game yet a donkey kong 3d the third donkey kong country game or a new ip should be done and should be launching in august next year now for the next game or for the next game yeah the next game the coming to the switch next year for this lineup list will be the next platinum games game yeah the next game from platinum games jesus that's a tough thing to say but yeah i think september is the perfect opportunity to launch it um by this point it, it's also the, the 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 game that could just make a mark for september it's a it, platinum games is now becoming bigger given the uh, near automata success it could be making platinum uh bayonetta 3 they already discussed being working on a nintendo switch game but uh, we don't know if it's exclusive i think it will be uh, i think nintendo already they have a great um connection i uh, and uh, relationship i wouldn't be surprised if we saw it in September we could also see it in 2019 but if it's something like Bayonetta 3 which could have began production a while ago I wouldn't be shocked if September was for uh, the next game from Platinum exclusively for the Switch yeah most likely it will be exclusive for the Switch with Nintendo paying the bill to have it on the Switch now we're finally on to the last three months of the year but October is the first month where I am the only month where I actually have to put two titles because I'm not too sure which one will be and the two titles I have are Metroid Prime 4 and Super Smash Brothers for Switch now the reason why I have these two is because we are not there it's unclear where both of these games stand if Super Smash Brothers for Switch is just a port of Smash Brothers 4 with all the content from 3DS and Wii U with the DLC and maybe some new characters added and some new game modes added then maybe the game will be in October I would much prefer it if it's a 2019 game I think it's going to be a 2019 game I think that Nintendo is going to take what I just said of a couple new, uh, new uh, uh, adding all the content from 3DS, Wii U and the DLC putting them all on the same game uh, then going uh, obviously with the third parties then going and getting more characters characters like the inkling spring man uh, from these new ips and maybe other characters from older nintendo ips and bring them all and getting back the ice climbers going to third parties and getting more characters i this time i wouldn't be surprised if konami allowed not just snake with bomberman to be in super smash brothers maybe we'll see gino maybe we'll see another final fantasy character alongside cloud Maybe we'll see an, uh, more Capcom characters. We never know. But on the other hand, there's also Metroid Prime 4. Now, people are very much doubting that the game is a 2018 game. They're very much calling it a 2019 game. Uh, a recent rep from Nintendo, recently a rep from Nintendo said that uh, the game alongside Pokemon were scheduled for this year. We don't know. Obviously, we have to wait and see if it's 2018. Um, but Nintendo then came confirming that they don't have a date for the game, which to me seems suspicious that they came out and says to just say, uh, maybe we, there's no date defined for it. Personally, I think that a lot of people are taking the fact that we just saw the the Screw Attack and the Metroid Prime 4 logo to mean we are only getting the game. The game is ways off. I don't believe that personally. I think that the game is far closer than people are giving it credit for. I think that development... Here's the thing. The person, the director of the game is Tanabe, the guy that produced the Metroid, the trilogy and Metroid Prime Federation Force. He ended development of Federation Force last year, or yeah, 2016. So 2018 would be two years after that. 
Now you can say there's no way they're going to do it. Why would they do it? 2018, two years is not enough to make Metroid, a Metroid Prime game. Here's the thing. In 2000, Nintendo gave Metroid to Retro, and in 2002, they released Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime 2 also, I believe, came out two years after that, and three years after that came Metroid Prime 3, mostly because it was on the Wii, and the, you know, the Wii launch was pretty packed, and only launched in November, so there was no point in having the game at launch. I think the reason why we got the logo is for the same reason and I'll discuss it. There's a reason for it. I'm not going to discuss it now. I'm going to discuss it in a little bit when I talk about November's title. But I think that's the point. They have other things to sell, which is Metroid Prime, Metroid uh, Samus Returns, and this three, uh, that, that is a 3DS game, before they have to focus on the next Metroid, on Metroid Prime, and start selling that. I think that the only reason why the game was announced was, because, was not to create anger over the fact that we would not be getting a main a metroid game onto the switch like it happened for pokemon the pokemon announcement uh during during uh, the nintendo direct and during the three i think was just to appease fans to make them like calm down there are switch games coming you know just calm your tits they're coming and i think that prime is a 2018 game we saw it a little bit too early but i think it's far more in production than people think and give it credit for uh, between Metroid Prime 4 and Super Smash Bros. for Switch, I think Prime 4 is the game that's coming in, in October, with Smash being a 2019 game that will be announced at E3 for 2019. And now let's move on to, twin, to November and the one segment that will be edited, uh, recorded, uh, not recorded, uh, edited, rendered alone so that I can upload it to YouTube to make sure that the company making the comp one of the companies responsible for this doesn't block it worldwide and that game is pokemon now pokemon is a little weird um come given the fact that um people are also very much in doubt that this game will come out in 2018 why wow that was a, a, a bad voice friend there why because they said in a year or more during Nintendo's E3 presentation. People forget one thing. The announcement came in t in June. A little over, it might come out uh, over a year from now. It might mean July. Now, Pokemon games have been coming out routinely from uh, every year. I personally think that we're gonna get the Switch game next year. It's far more along than people think. I think they began development for it right after they finished, uh, or right before they finished Sun and Moon began developing it uh, i think it's probably closer to fin being finished into think much like much my uh, prime 4 and it's going to be generation 8 of pokemon there's no doubt in my mind that we'll see generation 8 it will be a massive uh, november and holiday title and, uh, and now get, uh, release the game with a price cut on the switch to from 3 uh, from 300 or 330 in europe to 250 maybe 280 for Europe and you you just have to sit back produce enough systems and just watch watch the cash coming into Nintendo because that would be a massive seller now we reach the last game that will I think come out for the Nintendo Switch in 2018 that is a small spin-off like Captain Toad. Heck, it could even be Captain Toad 2. Um, we did not get it this year like I predicted it. Uh, I think we're gonna get it next year because it, it's a small game and I think it's uh, last year I was most of the like, of the thinking of like the game Super Mario 3, the next 3D Mario might be done or close to being done by then so they might have had some free time. They didn't but every like the ca Captain Toad came out a year after Mario uh, 3D World, 3D Land came out a year after Galaxy, and normally that's it's, it was a smaller game. I think that Captain Toad will be that smaller game that the Mario team works on for a year and launches it a year after Mario Odyssey. So yeah, there's not really much to say about that one. So yeah, let's move on to the outro. So let's go on to, with a quick recap, saying the name, the game, and the month that I think. I predict they'll be launching in, so January we'll be having F-Zero. In February it will be Yoshi, March for uh, with F-Zero, with uh, Fire Emblem. 
Pikmin 4 in April, May, with Animal Crossing, Kirby coming out in June, which is mentioned a month later in July. Afterwards, in August, we'll be having Met Retro Studios game, then in September, uh, Platinum Games. In October, uh, Metroid Prime 4, it could be Super Smash Bros. For, uh, for Switch. In November, Pokemon Switch. And in December, a small uh, Captain Toad-like spin-off, or a small spin spin-off title like Captain Toad was. So yeah, those are my predictions for what 2018 has in store for the Nintendo Switch and for the Nintendo Switch owners. So uh, tell me in the comment section what you think about it. Remember to like and subscribe this video for more. Uh, and liking obviously will help out the channel. So thank you for watching. I've been the Legend of the S and I'll see you guys next time.